really an honor to be right back at Salt and Light Radio. It's been a while since I've been here, and uh, I really appreciate the ministry because it it really spreads the word of God and important issues of the day that um, we need to be aware of. Mm-hmm. I've been um, thinking a lot about the stimulus package, and as you know, it's uh, a great, great package really to help us through this time for especially those people that need the extra money to uh, get their life back in order. Unfortunately, the stimulus package is um, uh, got more than just helping people get through their financial crisis. It's the American Rescue Plan Act, which is the stimulus passage, uh, the, uh, the package uh, was passed by our legislation, federal, and it included for the first time uh, monies to be used directly for abortions. It was a $450 billion package, and some of that can be used for abortions, which is troubling because we don't want our money going to a cause that's contrary to what we believe. We're to protect life, not to destroy it. So um, rather than get too wrapped up in kind of battling that in my own mind, what to do, uh, I think it was an inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I believe it is, that two Saturdays ago when I heard the news, I thought, okay, what can we do in a positive way to help life? And so the idea came uh, with a title, I Shall Give Half. And the, the idea is this, that as we receive, those that do receive the stimulus um, check, uh, as we receive that, to consider giving half of that amount to a pro-life organization of your choice. Um, our pro-life organizations have been battling this cause for years, since Roe versus Wade and even before. And I thought, gosh, if, if here in Idaho, if even, say, 8% of our Catholics gave half of their check to a pro-life cause, that'd be well over $7 million. Uh, no small wow. change. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. So um, we've been working fast and furious the last week. We have just uh, have printed 10,000 handouts with envelopes made out to the National Right to Life, but again, that envelope won't have to be used, uh, but it just helps those that want to have an easy way to contribute to do so. After all the Masses this weekend, the priests have been instructed in our diocese to make a pulpit announcement, and also the Knights of Columbus have stepped forward to distribute, again, the handout that explains the campaign with the envelope, and that will be in both English and Spanish. I did call Archbishop Nauman, who's the head of the Secretariat for Pro-Life Activities, and he sent a letter back after I explained what we're looking to do, and he wrote all the bishops in the United States, and this is what he says. As we shared in our joint press release last week, the many important life-saving provisions in the American Rescue Plan Act have been undermined because it facilitates and finds the destruction of life, funds, excuse me, funds the destruction of life, which is antithetical to its aim of protecting the most vulnerable Americans in a time of crisis. Bishop Peter Christensen just shared a very creative idea in response to the recent passage of this act, which will tragically force this act, it will force taxpayers to fund abortions. Since Congress failed to prevent abortion funding in the stimulus bill, Bishop Christensen is inviting parishioners to consider donating half of their stimulus check to a pro-life cause to counter new attacks on human life. Some parishioners may only be able to afford very little, while others may be able to afford more. Again, the idea would be half, maybe the whole check. Uh, Some maybe five dollars is all they could afford, but to do some act especially in this time of Lent, of almsgiving, uh, would really be a a prayer of service to those who are vulnerable. Um, National Right to Life, who, again, we have an envelope addressed, and you can do that even from home in your own envelope, of course. National Right to Life address, and maybe Brian can repeat this later, put it on the website. I'll put it right now. Oh, good. It's 1446 Duke Street, D-U-K-E Street, 
Alexandria, Virginia, 22314. Got it. Good. Thank you. Um, so we're moving forward. Uh, National Right to Life has uh, been protecting life in America since 1968 and has a nationwide network of 50 affiliated state groups. Again, these pre-printed envelopes are made available uh, and will be this Sunday at all the parishes in the diocese. However, again, uh, any, any pro-life organization of one's choosing is encouraged. The name of the campaign, I shall give half, is inspired by the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 19, 18 to 10. And you may remember, uh, it's a story about Zacchaeus, uh, Zacchaeus, uh, a tax collector, goes out on a limb as he climbed a sycamore tree to meet Jesus. And I'm not sure he really wanted to meet him. I think he wanted to see him. He had heard about him, and I think he was curious. But uh, Jesus had a plan to meet him. And this encounter puts life in order. Jesus gives Zacchaeus a new perspective. God's own perspective. Zacchaeus reevaluates his priorities. In meeting Zacchaeus' need for God, God's love, Jesus unleashes his capacity to love others. The sign of this new perspective and new love is that Zacchaeus declares, Behold, Lord, I shall give half to the poor. And if I've defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. So I thought, gosh, you know, we don't like hearing it this way, but my brothers and sisters, each of us are culpable in the disregard for life. Uh, we've been tainted as a, as a culture by propaganda that says life in the womb is not important. It's a lie. And we need to reverse that. And in our culpability, we need to do something that shows that, Lord, we want to follow you above all else. And this is one small opportunity, one small opportunity to do that. I shall give half. Um, and it's also an opportunity for Catholic Church and others to speak up publicly. And I think sometimes we feel like our hands are tied, that we're kind of wearing cuff, uh, handcuffs in the back and getting sucker punched over and over again by some of the things that are happening in this country. And it's, it's getting tiresome, wondering what can I do? What can I do to help reverse that? How can I stand up? Uh, for that which I believe, rather than having the government be the moral director of our lives because it's not being done in a way that gives glory to God in any regard. So um, it's an opportunity to, to kind of put a hand up to the sucker punches and move forward with something positive to help, again, the most vulnerable. Here in Idaho, um, sad to say, last year, 2019, we had over 1,500 abortions take place. That's a report given by the Department of Health and Welf Welfare in the state. Um, so I'm just kind of now doing my part and uh, trusting you'll do yours and that we, uh, as, as we receive the um, stimulus checks, that we really consider, consider giving half of that money to a cause, the best cause of your choice. Um, Brian, any questions? Or? Well, I just think it's a, a wonderful opportunity, as you said, f to answer the culture of death. And uh, we were uh, so afraid it was going to happen. I think we knew it was going to happen. I don't think we thought it was going to happen this quick. But uh, we knew that that money would go back to Planned Parenthood once there was the changing of the guard in Washington, D.C. That is a lot of money, $450 billion dollars going to abortion providers across our country. Now, just think what we could do if that money were to go to pregnancy crisis centers, and we have so many of those right here in our own backyard, and that's where I Shall Give Half can help. You know, you give that money to people in our community that can make an impact directly right here in your own backyard. So if you don't need all of that stimulus money, 
because even if you think you do need, yeah, it's a gift that no one knew. I mean, we people knew it was coming, right? But it's one of those you know need versus want, right? And there's people that need it absolutely yes. for sure. But ponder, ponder the. It's curious because we had the conversation yes. at my house yesterday about do we really so need? So let's how 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 much do we scrape off the top to mm-hmm. give? Because it's it's a gift. It's yes. a gift, and we must return the gift. Our our Facebook friends are are brainstorming all kinds of wonderful mm. pro life places to put that the Idaho pro life license place, the Idaho Catholic. Um, ah, I just wrote it down. The Family Policy Alliance, the Idaho Catholic Network. You yes. know, Stanton Healthcare, Birthright. A lot of small organizations. If you want to go small and go local, um, if you want to go political, you can do that. If you want to support your local Catholic radio station and all of our pro-life messaging. So you have a lot of really wonderful choices and national right to life, which is right there in DC with these lawmakers ready to assist in the changing of this policy. So these will be available after mass this Sunday, Saturday night. And Brian is holding the the official announcement. This is the official decree. uh, (laughs) (laughs) But it's very well written and it's very well explained. And then, of course, the envelope will also be attached to this if you choose to use it to Mm -hmm. send your half to uh, National Right to Life. But as Hope mentioned, uh, there are so many wonderful organizations right here in our own backyard that will make a direct direct impact in, in people's lives, people that you may know, people that sit in the pew next to you at Mass. This weekend, so make sure you definitely take so. uh